Hello everyone, my name is Azatru, how are you? And welcome to another Star Wars Battlefront 2 mod showcase video of mine. And it is not the top 5 mods of the week, it is the top 4. And I have some explaining to do. So before I do showcase off 4 mods from this week's modding community for Star Wars Battlefront 2, I just want to mention why modding is broken, kind of, in Star Wars Battlefront 2 right now. And you won't be seeing any mod gameplay from me today. That is the main reason I'm talking about this. So, Microsoft released a major Windows 10 update this week, and it was broken. Not long after it did release, people started reporting that their documents and download and whatever folders were basically wiped. And my PC automatically updated to it, and I have not lost any files from what I can tell. All my folders seem to be intact, but there is a big but. Basically, this update has broken the modding tools for Star Wars Battlefront 2 and most of the other Frostbite games. So I can't launch any mods. There is no way, absolutely no way of me launching mods for the foreseeable future, which is really frustrating. Until there is an update for the Frosty Mod Manager and there is no ET on this, I cannot make mod videos. Well, I can, but I can't actually do gameplay of them, which is really annoying because there's some fantastic mods on their way and I just won't be able to showcase them until there is a fix. So, if you do like to use mods in Star Wars Battlefront 2 and you have not updated to the latest Windows update, do not update it. Do not update your computer whatsoever. Leave it. Do not update it. Make sure it does not update because mods will not work once you've updated. But now let me showcase four mods that did release this week and unfortunately, they are the only mods that were made this week because there was a Battlefront update and, and then this Windows update happens. But let's just take a look at fourth position, which is Joker Kylo. And this is coming from Satan and Game TSF. So if you want Kylo to look like the Joker, it actually looks pretty cool, by the way, with his hair in this style. I think this is going to be the mod for you. Get downloading it, just like the Joker Stormtrooper I showcased in the last video. If you want an even better looking Joker, Go get this mod. Then in third position, I have the Finn Sabers mod from Ian Sanar. Now, personally, I would not use this mod purely because I don't really like the style of the lightsaber from Star Wars Rebels. But I know there are plenty of you out there that do like the lightsaber style from Star Wars Rebels and you really like Star Wars Rebels. So I thought I would include it. And for me, I mean, they look cool. I, I would say they look better in Battlefront than they do in Rebels personally, but I just wouldn't use it. I just like my thick lightsabers, especially seen in the prequels and the sequel trilogy. It's not just about the circumference of the lightsaber. Basically, there is some additional color tweaks, which I think look better than the ones that we do have in the current game, to be honest. So that's a nice touch. And the runner-up mod for this week's episode is the Bastilla Shan mod. I hope I pronounced that right. And this is a Legends character from Star Wars The Knights of the Old Republic. So I'm pretty sure a bunch of you guys in the comment section below right now are saying you're a huge fan of that series because I know there are plenty of you out there that have been asking for Old Republic mods. And here is one straight from the modder Soralis. And it's a pretty cool mod. It looks pretty cool. And it's definitely one of the better Legends skins I've seen made from the modding community. And finally, we have a winner. And it is another winner from King Warrior 5000. It is the finest of the 501st Clone Wars saved. So, King Warrior states this is the third and final part of the finest of the 501st mod series. Celebrate the revival of the Clone Wars series by playing with the Ark Trooper Jesse we never got to see in the final version. Choose Ahsoka's 332nd Legion to defeat Maul and much more. So this is the full contents of this mod. You get Arc Trooper Jesse, and you have two files to choose from, a Wookiee reinforcement or an officer, which is quite cool. Then you have Clone Trooper Dogma of the 327th Legion and five different 332nd Legion skins. Also, there is squad leaders for the 104th, Arc Troopers as the 91st, and there is a special Phase 1 Captain Rex as a Jet Trooper with a custom bitmap, which looks really, really cool. 
And it, of course, includes that custom loading screen. Now, I got some comments on the previous week's episode saying, show the custom loading screens. Show the custom loading screens. And I was going to this week. And then the Windows update happened. And then I can't actually play this. Uh, it's very disappointing. But fear not, if you would like to see custom loading screens in the future, when a mod does have them, I will show them in future updates. Thank you very much for the feedback, by the way. I really do appreciate it. I can only make videos better from your feedback. So let me know in the comments which mods you thought were the best. Which mods do you want to download? Let me know as well as some feedback maybe on the videos. And remember, there are download links to every single mod you saw in this video down in the description so you can go and check them out. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to drop a like and subscribe if you are new around here and consider supporting me on Patreon if you do want to support using that platform. Now if you did miss any of the two previous videos on screen, go check them out and I shall see you all in my next Star Wars Battlefront 2 video. Goodbye.